A few summers ago I was in Taranaki, my childhood home. My dad and I were dismantling the old tree house that he had built for me and my brother nearly 20 years ago. I asked him if I could rebuild it as an artist's retreat. He said he wanted to help. Makrotapa trees were originally planted here by farmers as shelter for animals. It is a material I've always returned to in this building. It has been used in the cladding, decking, furniture, and unlike tantalized wood, all the offcuts can be chucked in the woodshed, leaving no building waste. The slide had to stay, and we shaped the building around it, the slope of the building continuing the angle of the slide. The treehouse is accessed from a spiral staircase. The first floor you encounter is the bathroom, framed by three round windows. The bathroom deck is made from recycled fascia boards from a local school, left with the original paint. Entering the treehouse, the first thing you encounter is a recycled basketball floor. It lines the floor and extends up the walls and onto the ceilings. At the rear of the building, an escape hatch opens out to provide ventilation and views into the rural landscape. Up the ladder is the sleeping loft. Tensioned rope serves as a headboard and safety railing for the bed, which looks out and up towards the canopy of the trees. There is this amazing quality to the light as it passes through the canopy. The translucent polycarbonate cladding allows for the light to enter the building and provides passive heating, much like a greenhouse. I'm not an architect. I'm an artist working with my dad, who is an engineer. I think not really knowing what you're doing, not knowing the rules, can help you not take yourself too seriously, much like a child. In many ways, it still functions in the same way it did for farmers' livestock. It provides shelter. <laughs>